Rahim, Assalamu alaikum respected viewers, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the program 114 Dialogues with Quran. Today we are going to discuss Surah Abasa. Abasa means to be indifferent, to frown, to show indifference about any matter. This word has been derived from the opening verses of the surah Abasa Vataballa and Jaahul Ama. He showed indifference and he turned his face and as there came to him a blind man. This is a Makki Surah and it comprises one Ruku and 42 verses. This Surah has highlighted an important historical event about Hazrat Abdullah bin Ibn Maktoum who was a sincere and faithful companion of Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu and he was the blind one. And he was also first cousin of Hazrat Sayyidah Khatija Tulkubra, Razillah Talanha, the wife of Messenger of Allah Almighty, the mother of the faithful. Once there was a meeting and dialogues between the Messenger of Allah and some leaders of the Quraysh, and among those aristocratic leaders, there was Abu Jahl. There was Utuba, there was Shaiba and Walid and Walid bin Mughira and Umayyah bin Khalf and Hazrat Abbas bin Abdul Mutlub. And there was long discussion and dialogues. Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu was trying to convince them, guide them and show them the straight and right path. During this meeting, Hazrat Abdullah bin Abd ibn Maktoum ta'ala anhu, he came there because he was blind, he was not aware of the sensitivity of the situation. So uh, he called for Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, O Prophet of Allah Almighty, teach me whatever Allah Almighty has taught you. The situation demands some other type of attitude, but as he was blind, he was not aware of the sensitivity of the situation. Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi was also in the situation not to attend him urgently and uh, uh, to break the series of discussion. So this situation was created. The main Topics of this surah, first one is the same one, the incident of Hazrat Abdullah bin Ibn Maktoum and he was one of those, the al ashab al awwalun who embraced and accepted Islam, became the faithful from the early times of preaching of Islam. The second important topic is value of the disabled people in Islam, this surah highlights that all human beings, they are the servants of Allah Almighty. Man amila salihan min zakar in of unsa wa huwa mu'minun fala nuhji yannam hayatan tayyiba. Anyone who does righteous deeds, whether he is man or woman, he must be the faithful and he will get eternal life, Allah Almighty will bless him with eternal 
salvation and life. So, it makes no difference whether that is male or female, whether it is able or disabled. According to Allah Almighty, all human beings are important and valuable according to teachings of Islam. Allah Almighty has given honor and respect to all the sons of Hazrat Adam alayhi salam. So, this surah has highlighted the importance of disabled whether uh, they have some mental retardation or physical disability or blind they have equal importance and Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa was advised to attend such uh, disabled people uh, more carefully and more attentively because they need sympathy and uh, affection and love and special uh, mercy of Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then this surah also tells that the, the short sightedness of the foolish people, <coughs> some of the uh, foolish interpreters they uh, would think that this surah actually that is uh, against the status of Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the fact is not so. Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah. He performs all of his duties and liabilities under commandments and direction and instructions of Allah Almighty. He was the mercy for mankind, rahmatullil alameen. He was harisun alaykum bil mu'mineen raufur raheem. He was very ambitious and eager to spread Islam, to perform his duty of preaching. So, his heart was every time merciful for all the people, for all creatures of Allah Almighty. So, he was in a condition to be very much vigilant about all the people and he would think that if these aristocratic people, these leaders of the tribes, they would accept Islam, it may be more useful and important. But and this was the same routine and habit of all the prophets and messengers of Allah Almighty. So, it is in no means any uh, taunt or disgrace Nauzubillah for the messenger of Allah Almighty. He has been honored, he has been respected and he is wa inna ka la ala khuluke nazim. He is the great moralist and he is the a great who is very much polite and courteous. This surah has also highlighted that a man is very ungrateful to Allah Almighty. The Lord has created him, he has provided him with all amenities of life, everything whatever he desires and wishes or needs, but he is not thankful to Allah Almighty. He must be humble servant of his Lord and he must perform all of his deeds under consent and pleasure of Allah Almighty, but unfortunately he is not well aware of this situation. He should be careful and cautious and he should perform, perform all of his liabilities according to desire of Allah Almighty. This is the only way to success, victory and salvation. Thanks for my support.